what life means. You will read many, many things. Poets say something different. Those who write prose, they write something different. Anyway, we all agree that life means a question. The big question. And that question should be understood, resolved. We need answer. We are searching the meaning of life. But it will not come from outside. Why are you searching for the meaning of life outside you? It's a simple thing. The meaning of life will be searched within you, not outside you. So you will find two parts within you. A part is influenced by the opinions of others, and a part remains uninfluenced by the opinions. That part which remains uninfluenced by, that glorious part, that immortal part of your being. Otherwise, mortal, semi-mortal and immortal, these are your three selves, body, plus breath, plus conscious mind, this is your mortal part. What is your semi-immortal part? Unconscious mind. Even when there is no conscious mind, all the impressions are stored in the reservoirs within you all the merits and demerits of your life, unconscious mind, and individual soul. This is immortal. Now there is another which is called totally immortal, absolute self. So you can see a self of yours is mortal self, semi-immortal self, individual soul without any vehicle called unconscious mind and totally immortal. When you say, myself, which self you are talking of? Are you talking of mortal self? Are you talking of semi-immortal self? Are you talking of totally immortal self? So when you are talking to teacher, myself, 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 he knows where you are. Whether you are on mortal plans, whether you are talking something higher, or whether you are, you see, in the domain of individual self. So teacher gradually leads you to this awareness. All the pains and anxieties live only here. All the pains and anxieties live here, on the body, breath, senses, and conscious mind. Then there is no anxiety after this, you see. Because you don't have vehicle for anxiety, for expressing your anxiety. If it is, it, it, it remains in dormant, latent state. Anything that is expressed, expressed through conscious mind. So first thing that you should do, make full effort to convince yourself, to accept this, I am a shine of the Lord, first thing. 
It's not enough to believe in God. You say, I believe in God. Because I believe in my church. I believe in my... You see, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Hindu, I'm a Buddhist, I'm this. It's not enough to lead happy life. It's not enough to make you happy. You all have religions, you all have churches, so what? Still you are suffering. You see, sometimes I find you suffering more than those who do not have. Because you are not going ahead. So what actually you need? You need to go very systematically. So this body is like a chakra systematic at Pandaji has explained. In which five triangles and another six triangles. They are united. How your body is composed? How it was formed? From here you start going inside. If you have known yourself, you have known the universe. But you have, if you know the universe, you are, you are trying to know the universe, you are lost. In the bewilderment, you are lost outside. So you better learn to understand yourself first. So that vidya which leads you systematically is called Sri Vidya. Highest of all vidyas. As mother, and you are fully protected. It has been, these experiments have been done. Wild elephant was left with a child and father. The father ran away, left the child there. Wild elephant was left when mother was walking with the child. Mother faced the elephant. You know. You are very close to mother. First. I am talking of Divine Mother, the Mother in you, the Shakti in you, the power in you. Science has proved that matter is nothing but energy. You see, matter can be converted into energy, energy into matter. It's all energy, but that's all, nothing beyond that. Yogic science has gone to deeper level explaining that your you have Shakti within you. And without that Shakti it is not possible for you to survive. It's not possible for you to act and to function. Any part of yourself, even your brain, your mind, your intellectualization, your convictions, your actions are not possible without Shakti. This systematic path, loving path, most glorious, majestic path, is introduced by the teachers when you have enough time. Suppose you said, I don't have time. Swami, can you tell me something about Sri Vidya which you can do in two minutes' time before I go to my office? He will laugh at you and say, I love you. Okay, sir, later on when you have time. 